Hi, this is Sunny from Motorwork.com, and today we're doing a review of the recently announced Logitech K310 washable keyboard. So this is a keyboard, basically, as you can see in the package, and you can run it under the sink to clean it out, and you're good to go. Works with um, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8 RT, um, and uh, Windows Vista, basically Windows, pretty much the Windows-based keyboard. Now what you have here is a brushed aluminum keyboard with your full, full keyboard layout, 12, uh, 12 F keys, uh, laser printed UV coding, very thin profile keyboard as you can see just the way the packaging is. So let's go ahead, open this up, see what we have in here, the keyboard, slide it out. Let's see if we can slide this out properly. Alright. A little, little jostling over there. Now we have a laptop here which we're gonna use the keyboard with to show you the functionality. And we're actually gonna wash it on screen for you, at least in some form or fashion. Let's pull this out. Packaging. Nice simple packaging. Very nice keyboard. Um, you've got your Logitech imported information stuff here. You've also got your quick start guide showing you how to use it, numbers to call, um, all that stuff. So you've got a brush. This actually comes with a brush here, which I'll pull out. So you've got this nice brush which you can use to clean out your keys, dust. So you can actually do that. The keys are raised up, so it actually looks like a, an old school IBM typewriter. It's not mechanical keys though, so it doesn't sound like one. It's white keys on this brush surface. It's not aluminum, it's all plastic. But your brush fits underneath here. And you can see here, cleaning solutions. Basically, to clean your keyboard, you cap your USB. Uh, maximum temperature of the water is 40 degrees Celsius, 120. You can basically dump the keyboard in water for five minutes and you're good to go. Don't use a blow dryer, none of that fun stuff. You can also raise your the keyboard itself, so it's actually slightly raised to use the keys. And it's pretty nice, I like the brush with it too. Pretty cool, you know, stuff. So anyway, let's go ahead, plug this into our laptop that we have here, just to test the keyboard out, see how well it works, all that fun stuff. This keyboard so keys work well spaced out you've got your Windows 7 uh, Windows 8 functions there you can see up at the top here Windows 8 functionality your F keys all that stuff is pretty cool now the main thing we know about the keyboard is it's a washable keyboard so um, let's do this let's unplug it like they said cap that we have a bowl of water here going to dunk the keyboard and you can see it's already in there some some of that take some water good pour it around the keyboard I mean Logitech says you can wash this down so I'm sure um, the keyboard is good to go after this now let's not forget the other side of the keyboard, dunk that in too. Splash some water on there. All right, so we've got some water on the keyboard. It's still wet, I'm just maybe gonna wipe it down. I'm gonna set it back a little bit, wipe my hands. Unplug the USB, put it back in the port. And if you guys can see that, I'm just gonna zoom there a little closer for you guys. What's this out? This still works. So the keyboard works perfectly. Uh, you can run it on the water. Uh, nothing, pretty much nothing happens to it, which is fantastic. Um, I think this is a nice solid keyboard. If you've got, you know, 
you're one of those clumsy people where you tend to spill things or you're in an environment where there's just a lot of spills around, I think this is a solid keyboard. It feels nice. Uh, again, you know, the keys are raised like an uh, old school typewriter. Um, not mechanical keys, so that's it's a little different there, but feels feels good. Uh, it takes some getting used to, but everything feels nice and comfortable. Low profile, so it's not a thick keyboard. It's not a heavy keyboard, and um, you know, works well. You've got a brush which you can use to clean off dust, which is also nice. And the instructions in the back on how to actually clean your keyboard, uh, which is also good just in case you lose the manual or something. And uh, I think this is a very versatile keyboard. So if you guys have any questions or any comments about the Logitech K310, let us know. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. It's all Border Work with 2 O's. So this is Thunder Yi saying thank you, and always enjoy entertainment.